What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about blatant manipulation that happened here today with a short ladder attack earlier in the day and what happened throughout the rest of the day and why I am calling this blatant manipulation. Also, I do want to go over a false conception of how low volume is not good for the stock because low volume is actually good for the stock in the longer term sense of the MOAS. And that's what we're going to clear up here in this video is those two things. So hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and let's get straight into it. So as far as the short ladder attack and the blatant market manipulation that we've seen today, it's very easy to see if you pull this out to the 15 minute candlestick chart. You guys can see the first 15 minutes of trading today, there was 4 million shares that were sold. That was the volume and that dropped us down a whole hell of a lot. The next 15 minutes, 4.5 million shares that were traded hands and that was the volume. And we went from about $29 per share all the way down to $26.82 per share. Share. What is a short ladder attack though and why are the hedge funds using this to their advantage? So a short ladder attack put simply a short ladder attack is when both sides of the buying and selling of stocks are played by traders in an attempt to devalue the stock in question. This can also be done through spoofing. Essentially imagine this if you're putting in all of these orders in a fast uh, manner right if you're a hedge fund you're able to do this certainly a lot faster than we are but you're putting in all of these very low sell orders that don't necessarily go through but it still helps to push down the stock you obviously short some stock into the marketplace but not all of this and you push that down that is essentially called spoofing jp morgan they were just investigated for spoofing and they were ordered to pay millions of of dollars hundreds of millions of dollars for spoofing the price of silver and gold so banks do this hedge funds do this and this is part of the doj investigation that is being investigated right now into hedge funds and other research firms and that's exactly what we've seen today but why are the hedge funds actually doing this well they're doing this to try to break the ape spirits they can't really come out and say all these claims right what do they have to say they're the ones manipulating the stock the only way for them to break your spirits is to crush the stock and the easiest way to do that is earlier in the day as you open up look at your phone you're like hey shit amc is down five seven percent what the hell is going on i need to sell my stock that's exactly what they want you to do and i hope you guys are not falling for that because almost immediately we come in and buy the stock back up and we sent this thing to higher levels than we were at when we started trading for the day that is blatant market manipulation it happens all the time specifically on Fridays though because the hedge funds do not want the calls to actually expire in the money and the market makers do not want to have to go out and buy shares on the open market I mean take a look at this open interest 6,500 for open interest at the $29 strike at the $30 strike about 15,000 for open interest another 8,800 at the $31 strike another 9,300 at the $32 strike another 10,000 for open interest at the $33 strike. And if they hadn't done this in the beginning of the trading day, we likely would have went up three to even 7%. The Russell 2000 was up almost 1%. And AMC is the largest weighting of the Russell 2000, about 0.6%. So other stocks did very well, but not AMC when they have a lot of very positive things going for them because of the short ladder tech that happened earlier in the day. It's a lot harder to recover once you do start to get people actually normally trading hands, right? A lot of people coming 931 are not placing orders on AMC. They're kind of seeing, hey, what's going to happen for the day? Obviously, some people do, but when you flood the market like that with millions of shares you're trying to sell or spoof, aka fake sell that drives down the share price once buyers and sellers actually come into the stock it takes a lot more to actually start to recover that stock so that's basically the gist of the market manipulation as far as what we can do is simply just continue what we've been doing buying and holding the stock and also helping to shed light on this situation and eventually the chickens will come home to roost or however that saying goes and the hedge funds whoever is doing this will be found and, and basically found out that they've been doing this and will either receive huge fines or potential jail time. That's the simple fact. But low volume is actually a bullish thing if you're thinking in the sense of 
the MOAS. Why is this? Let me prove this to you guys. Take it back before the two rallies in 2021. Back to January, we were seeing volume in between 20 and 40 million shares that traded hands on any given day. And that's really low volume, right? That's around where we've been at over the last two days. And then it heads into really high volume, 1.2 billion shares at the peak that traded hands. And the stock went up 10x in value. Same thing happened. The volume died down. It stayed very low in between 30 and 40 million shares that were trading hands. And then the volume headed back into the stock and continuously increased and the share price increased as well. The stock went up 10x in value back here in June. But what happened after June? and really after January as well, you've seen high volume continue, but you've seen back and forth, low volume, high volume, low volume, high volume, and the price of the stock didn't do all too much. And then you ultimately see the, the volume start to really die down, and then we really baselined out in between about 40 and $45 per share for a very long time, but you would get random spikes of volume, like around earnings back here in late August, but nothing really happened with the price of the stock. Now, what we're looking at right now is a situation where some volume has come into the stock. Now the volume is dying down. What I want to see is the volume remain low, but the price of the stock start to increase because what we want is the price of the stock 40, 50, $60 per share with low volume. And then we start to get the volume that comes into the stock. And then you start to see shorts actually covering, driving that volume home to 400, 500, 600, 700 million shares that trade hands on any given day. That's going to lead us ultimately into the MOAS. But the best thing about AMC, even though we have all these shills, the comment down, down below in this video and all these other videos, I'm sure you guys will see some if you scroll down to the comment section right now. They're out there. But what is the great sign about that? That's, that's music to my ears because you have people paying attention to the stock. You have that X factor of traders that are waiting to trade AMC that get in on the bullish momentum. And once we do start to make that next leg up, in my personal opinion, to about $35 next week or in the first week of January, you're going to see those traders hop back into the stock. Then ultimately, when AMC does start to actually go through the MOAS, when you're seeing 20, 30, 40, 50% days back to back to back, that's when you're going to see all of these factors come together. You're going to see the apes that are holding out continue to hold. You're going to see the FOMO buyers, the day traders, and then and ultimately the shorts to cover as well as the market makers that will have to hedge out a ton of options that do run into the money and this thing will be unstoppable but here in this video i did want to go over why low volume is actually bullish if you're thinking of this in the term or in the sense of the moas in the longer term and ultimately what happened today with the short ladder attack how the hedge funds pushed this stock into the ground and then we made a sharp recovery because ultimately when you wake up and look at your phone if you can recognize what is happening with these short ladder attacks you won't feel as emotionally compelled to do something with with your position most of the time it's best to just do nothing with your positions because ultimately everything will work out in due time so if you guys found value out of this video hit the like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know down below in the comment section what do you think about these two things the short ladder attacks as well as the low volume love and appreciate you guys merry christmas make sure to drop on the stream later on tonight Say Merry Christmas. Talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I will see you guys in the next video.